What's up fans, I'm Katie V back in the building with yet another video And as you guys know, you guys see the food in front of me Welcome back to Mukbang Tuesday So Mukbang Tuesday is obviously I eat for you guys I mean, what can I say? <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna eat for you guys today yet again So for today guys, I'm gonna be trying the Roxy Kebab um, this is in Roxburgh, if you guys don't know, it's the north side of Melbourne. Um, yeah, I've been wanting to try this place for some time, I've never gotten around to try it. Um, but one of my favourite kebab places would have to be um, Route 66. Yeah, Route 66, it's in, um, it's around Roxburgh. It's like literally not far from where Roxy Kebab is, but it's right next to a petrol station. So go check that place out too. I wanted to get some um, baklava and stuff like that, but then I was like, mm, maybe next time. But I'm gonna try this place today, it looks so good. It's probably a bit cold now because I was taking so long. Um, so shout out to, I couldn't find the comment that requested for me to try Roxy Kebab or another place. I couldn't remember the other place. So I got, I just went Roxy Kebab and I tried to find the comment of the person that would requested for this video, but um, I couldn't seem to find the comment. So um, I don't know if they've taken it down, but thanks, shout out to you. And thank you so much for requesting. But yeah, I'm pretty keen, I'm pretty hungry. I got some cha time, I love cha time. I got some premium pearl milk tea. I got a mixed HSP, so that's lamb and chicken. And I got a mixed um, kebab, so. I haven't had it like with this um with this bread or wrap in ages. I've only had it like may I mainly have it with the wrap, how they do it. So yeah, make sure you guys go check them out. I didn't get anything fancy, I just got plain lettuce, tomato, cheese, um tomato, I already said that. <laughs> and with this I got um sweet chili sauce and garlic aioli. Oh, I love that sauce. Yeah, let me just do a prayer and let's get straight into the mukbang. So let's just get into it. I'm probably gonna do a proper photo for you guys. How gangster do I look? Ooh. Um, so prices today for these were not too bad. So all up these two were $30.45. Pretty pricey if you ask me. I think the HSP was $17. And the kebab is $13. She so it's got um, it's the, the bread is Turkish pie, Turkish, Turkish pied bread. They must sing you with these words now. But yeah, I've got a menu for next time, so I know what I'm gonna order as soon as I walked in. Like the guy was full, like, what do you want? And I was just like, just let me breathe first. You know what I'm saying? She. I might just go straight into this HSP. It's calling my name. Delicioso. All right, let's dig in. Oh, see this. Haven't had an HSP in a while. Mmm. Mmm. I wish they added more cheese. I should have asked for more cheese. Seems a bit stingy here. Route um sixty six added like so much cheese. They also have the option of rice at Route 62. I didn't get to see if these guys had the option of rice. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. I reckon the best sauces to get is just garlic and sweet chili. Mm. I don't like hot chili. No, thank you. Um, I think they said this was the only size. So it's pretty all right, regular size. For other people, it'll probably be like a large. Mm. Okay. Mm. I like all the other bubble tea places, um, but there's some like gongcha or gotcha that where the um, pearls are too like mushy for me. I like cha times pearls, probably because I'm used to it and it's like literally like not far. It's nice and um, not gooey. Yeah, not gooey. Ah. Uh, uh. 
Guys, look at that so Oh, one job. It is what it is. I should probably get into this kebab before I get full. It's not a deep dish tree, so it's like you can finish it, depending on your appetite. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I should have probably got the baklava for dessert, so you guys can see and so I can taste it. I've tasted it like maybe a few times. One set school. Um, one of the girls bought in the clover desserts and stuff. It was actually really nice. It tasted really sweet, like caramelly. But I don't know if that was the clover. Um, looks pretty pl I don't know if they put any sauce in here. Oh my gosh, if they put mushrooms in here, bruh. Mm. I haven't really bitten into the meat yet. <laughs> but I love this Turkish bread, like, oh. The thick butter. Mm. Or just paninis, like you know, chicken paninis and stuff like that. I don't know if this is the bread they use, but it feels like it. But paninis are pretty expensive if you ask me. Oh, today's Sunday. I um, I'm so gutted because I got work tonight, and this week's gonna be the last week of night shift. <sighs> I'm so gutted. I like the people I'm working with. Like, we're not all very good workers, but like, they're really cool to make a conversation with. But in terms of work-wise, yeah, we just don't really get much work done. <laughs> gonna miss the people I'm working with because I know when I go back on day shift all the people that I'm working with now that I've been working at my workplace before night shift we're all gonna be split up we're not really gonna see each other much and stuff like that so I'm gonna be stuck with a lot of the old people which I like uh, I'll probably like it for the first week or two because I haven't seen them in a while but hmm mm. I like that it's not leaking. Oh, this is like, I like that they have a bag too. Yeah, so I'm pretty good at like sort of finishing. Um, I was thinking of looking for another job, but since I'm already a full time, I don't want to risk, you know, especially with you never know with how this um, situation's going. Who knows if we could go into lockdown again? Um, my mum was saying earlier today that there's two students that flew in from somewhere Sydney or something to here and they hadn't quarantined or anything and they had COVID or something like that so I'm like oh great so any, anyone that was on the Virgin Airlines flight at 12 yesterday or Friday then we don't need to self-isolate I feel like people just don't care anymore. So if we go into lockdown again, just sorry for Dan Andrews, because ain't nobody gonna give a dang. I feel like people are just gonna be really reckless. You know, we've been in lockdown for like months, like you know what I mean? And I wanna, I've honestly been fortunate and grateful to have been working throughout the whole period. Crazy times we live in. Mm. I feel like I got nothing to talk about because literally my life is just work home, record, work home, record, eat, sleep all day. So literally yesterday was Saturday. I worked. I took up a five-hour shift, which wasn't too bad. Um, 
today's Sunday, so I got work in night shift. Ah, I'm dropping so much food. This cupboard's probably like, um, can you pick up your food? Mm. Oh, it's meat. You know, growing up, I never knew this as a kebab. I always knew skewers as kebabs, just because that's what they call it in New Zealand. Um, oh, well, from what I know, so the meat on the stick is what I call a kebab. And then this came along and I call this a kebab too. So when people get confused when I'm talking about kebabs, they think I'm talking about this, but I'm talking about the stick one. Mm. I just love chatam. When you drink this with heavy food, like it just feels refreshing. And the pearls will sort of clear out the palate as well. Ah. And I forgot what I was talking about. Oh yeah. So, like in New Zealand, I never really had kebabs. Um, it's only one week moved to Oz that I, you know, discovered all these, you know, Turkish, Lebanese foods. Um, not gonna lie, there are kebabs in New Zealand, but I never really looked at those places. Like, I was mainly about the other kebab or, well, skewers, um, island food, Chinese food, Asian food. Mm. Yeah, so coming to Oz has open, honestly opened my eyes to a lot of other foods there are out there. Um, different cultures. And I've learned to love kebabs. It always depends on the place. I think I like this because it's there's not much oil in it. Like there's some in a wrap where the oil is just, just absolutely ridiculous. You know what I mean? Like diabetes material. It's like you took the whole bottle and like, you know what I mean? Mm. Mm. Pretty good size too. Usually when I get this I say so before we even get home. More like before I even get in the car sometimes. So I'm surprised but as I'm checking it, it's not halfway. Oh, I should have left the paper on. Oh. Let's try and finish this mukbang yet. One thing I want to try is what Mark Wins is doing with my family. I love to tour around places and eat. Um, I'm sort of gutted and not really excited about tacos anymore, thanks to um, Taco Bell. But I still want to try, you know, different tacos and stuff like that. Um, someone did comment and say, like, in terms of, you know, food in America, Taco Bell is actually really good. Um, compared to all the fast food places over there because they're all very fatty and stuff like that and then Taco Bell is just a nice simple you know it's like how we constantly eat takeaways here like um, Macca's KFC and stuff like that and then you go and eat like a nice salad it just feels like you know light and refreshing so I guess that's what why people like Taco Bell in America it's just a nice cheap light option so I don't think of it as that but yeah I would still recommend just making your own tacos. <laughs> Not jokes. Mm. It's taken me five hours to eat this. Guys, if you drink bubble tea, let me know what you guys drink or like um any type of beverage. I love to try something new. I literally I get the same thing. Vanilla milk tea, which literally tastes like premium pro. I only just realized like after getting vanilla milk tea with pearl, 
with girls for like a year or so i realized that they did premium promo I, I don't know what i was thinking because they didn't have it on the menu eh? so i was just i just assumed oh i'll just go with that um i tried taro with pearls i don't really like it one of my other favorite drinks you know for refreshing that i actually tried if you guys remember my day out with my friend sophie um we went to the city and just tried any random thing and i got passion fruit with aloe vera and coconut jelly and that is delicious i'm gonna tell you now but, the, but depending on the day it gives me like um headache or something i don't know what probably because it's something new but if you like like earl grey tea that's what this basically tastes like for me mm. Mm. come on let me try and hurry finishing this Last couple bites. Mm. Shout out to the person that requested for me to try Roxy Babs. No regrets here. I've been trying to find um, kebab places that use this bread. First time trying an H HSP. I remember in school, like everyone, like because I used to go to Mount Ridley um, College, which is in based in Craigieburn, north side of Melbourne. Um, and I'm, I used to remember hearing everyone talking about oh, after school we could get an HSP, HSP, this HSP. Then I was just like, what the hell is that? I never understood till people told me what it was. Like one of my teachers was like. Um, um, saying she was going to spoil us with HSP and I was like, what is that? And she explained to me, it was like, hello, snake back and I was like, but what is it? <laughs> you know, like, y'all just give me like code language here. Tell me what it is. So they told me it was meat on chips and stuff like that. Um, so my first time trying it was basically during high school. After school, me and one of my girls, um, I can't believe I've got her name. He's like, me and my girls. Um, so me and my, one of my girls, Zainab. Um, I, I think I tried it for the first time with her. I got bad memory, but I think it was with her. We got a large HSP. I underestimated the size of it. And we got some snacks in that too, because I'm just back at it like that. I just get so much food that I know me and my friends won't finish. So we got HSP. I tried it, and bro, the first bite I took. Oh, never going back, man. It was the best thing since sliced bread, especially at school. Because I used to just go to this um, that same shop and just get um, fish and chips and stuff like that. A little bit of a backstory. Oh my God. Let me talk about this. So um, I was on TikTok and I saw this um, Asian guy, him and his mates, um, Larry Gao, Gao, Gao. I'm not too sure how it's pronounced, but I was laughing at his um, TikTok he did with his friend of um, how Koreans pass by each other in K-drama. And it literally takes like five, and it's literally five million different angles, and it takes them like ten minutes to pass each other. And I cracked up laughing because I knew exactly what K drama they were talking about um, and reenacting. So I ended up getting back into K drama, and I tried to stop. I had to force myself to stop watching K drama before because it was just really addictive, and I spent I spent a lot of my time watching K drama. So I thought I'd rewatch, you know, some K drama that I've already watched because I don't. Well, yeah, because I'd already know what to expect. So I started rewatching Boys, uh, not Boys Over Flowers, um, Weightlifting Fairies. I'm back on, ep on one season one, episode six. Oh man, it's just the rush that it gives me, you know what I mean? Sweat. But yeah, I'm um, definitely getting back into K drama. I love K drama. I just forgot how it makes me feel, you know, the comments are so elderly, you know what I'm saying? It is what it is. So yeah, that's one thing I'm getting back into K drama um music i used to be like 
as far as I got in terms of music with like, you know, um, what do you call it? I forgot what you call the genre. Um, K-pop. Like I've only ever listened to BTS. Like they're literally like my jam back in the days. And then I got like a lot of my cousins onto it. And they're more like onto it than me. Um, so I don't know much of the groups that are out now besides what I see on um, online. So I know about Blackpink. Um, got seven and then I don't know anymore from memory but one of my favorite songs from BTS oh my gosh let's think about Disney butterflies would have to be I think it was girl one day just one day um, and another one I can't really remember the names but literally oh uh, actually let me talk about my favorite K dramas I think every one of them is my favorite but I feel like they all got the same storyline just different like Turkish dramas, like literally Turkish dramas are all the same storyline, but different people, certain situations, like you know what I mean? Like say if one show, the mum gets kidnapped, same scenario, and then the next show, the daughter gets kidnapped, same scenario, like you know what I mean? They just switch characters and stuff like that. So it's, sometimes it's pretty predictable. But my favourite K-dramas would have to be... Obviously Boys Over Flowers, because that was my first and everyone would love that. Weightlifting Fairies, of course, because that was my second. Um, Legend of the Blue Sea would have to be one of them. Um, the Goblin one, I can't remember. I'm just basically naming all the ones I've watched. Um, Kim Bok Su. Um, I can't remember what it's called. She, strong, strong girl. Kim, yes, strong girl something. Kim Bok, they all have the same names. Um, so many good ones I've watched, like, oh, like it gets me in my feels, like it used to make me feel so like, if you watch K-drama, I feel like you know what I mean, it made me feel like so like, like you know how unrequited love, like you love somebody so much and they don't love you back, yeah that's how I felt, like loving these characters and they didn't even know me, like you know what I mean, so it used to get me in some type of way, so I stopped watching K-drama because of that and because it was time consuming and then I ended up have going on another time consuming app being instagram but yeah so i'm just basically switching in between i'll probably get sick of k-drama and go back on instagram but it is what it is don't judge me i'm getting full that's why i'm talking a lot i swear i'm so burnt off how many times have i said i'm gonna finish this and then i don't at least i have food for later so I'm, uh, after this i'll probably end up going to sleep for work um, oh yeah, look, I didn't even eat that much. Literally, the kebab tastes the same. I don't know why I got two of the similar things. I, I just got so nervous because as soon as I walked in, but I was just like, What do you want? I don't know. Anything else? And I was like, I just walked in. Let me have a look. And because you know, I was looking like gangster, I felt like everyone was looking at me like, She should already, she looks gangster. She should already know what she's gonna order. I lay low, man. She is my first time. I'm really bad at ordering for myself, like it took me a long time to order for myself. Like I just, I just suck at ordering for myself. I think that's gonna be my last bite and then I'm ready to go and more here. I'll obviously wash my face and all. But yeah, sorry guys for another build up video. Um, at least it's not as built up as the tacos now. <laughs> Jax! But yeah, um... Okay, let me try to fill it with one more bite and all This will always taste better, like, a couple hours after, or the day after. Because I've prepared myself to eat it, like, you know, it's already on my mind. <laughs> oh, I really wanted to go on my birthday so I could get a free one, but I missed out. I went the day after and I was hoping they'll be like, oh, it was your birthday yesterday and let us give you a free one. <laughs> they didn't. I need to get a proper table, like, just to eat. There's no gap for me to put my legs in so I can eat properly. So, like, my legs are like this and my stomach is like, save me. But literally, I've been trying to go on walks now just to get a bit more active. Um, I have been wanting to go on hikes, 
so that's something I want to prepare myself for. I'm seeing hikes like I got a car and I got friends that want to go. But it is what it is. If I had to do it by myself, I won't do that because I might see Michael Myers in the forest and it's over. And I can't fight for my life. But it is what it is. <clears throat> but yeah, guys, um, if you guys are keen on hikes, let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you guys heaps. Thank you so much to um, the fans that requested for me to um, try out Roxy Kebabs. I couldn't remember the other place you had requested, but honestly, so worth it. I love the Turkish bread. I just love that the oils aren't like seeping through the bottom like when you eat a wrap. Oh, it just soaks in all the oils and stuff like that. I really love it. Um, I feel a lot better than usually when I eat kebabs. Like I feel... It might be because of the child time, but you never know, you know what I mean? I love the HSP, I've always loved HSP. I love that it's not a deep, deep dish, like I can actually f like finish it if I were to just eat this by itself. The kebab was amazing. HSP tastes exactly like it, but without a bun and veggies. Um, yeah, so please go check out Roxy Kebab if you're here in Melbourne. Um, especially in Northside or you just want to go out for a drive. Or just recommend me some other good um, kebab places to try out. I probably won't do it as a mukbang because I've already tried kebabs, but I'll definitely eat it, you know, for like normal dinners and stuff like that. But if you guys have any, you know, requests for places you guys want me to try, definitely up for it, keen for it. Um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, mad love to you guys. Hope you guys are safe. Hope you guys are well out there. Um, I pray that you guys are safe and well um, each and every day from the time you wake up throughout your sleep um and i appreciate you guys heaps mad love to you guys um and yeah don't forget fam support your poly businesses um see you on the next video are you mad bye